Hello world, welcome to Cybercrete and today we are going to solve this question kth largest factor of m and we are going to solve, first see the logic of the code then we are going to solve it in python. So let us start coding. So let us see the question. A positive number d is said to be a factor of another positive integer n if when the n divided by d remainder obtained is 0 when we are going to divide that number the remainder should be 0 and that is what basically the factor of a number mean and we have to find the factor of uh, on the num given number like for 12 we have to find all the 6 factors of 12 that is 1 2 3 4 and 3 4 6 and 12 and every positive integer has k as at least 2 factor 1 and this much of course and you have to write the program to print the kth largest of that number n means if we are given 12 and uh, here the given k is 3 so we have to print the third largest factor the first largest will be 12 the second largest will be 6 and the third one will be 4 and we have to simply print it and if you have learned any other programming language you might think of just uh, using a simple loop going till the given number n and you have to just find the factors but this is not going to work because if it was so easy it won't be asked like that here you can see the constraint the first and foremost thing that you should always focus is the constraint because this constraint tell you what time complexity that you are going to use here you can see the n is really a large number so even if you are going to use the complexity of big o of n this code is not going to work you have to optimize this solution and even n by 2 won't work here so let us just see what is the most effective way of finding the factors of the number till the given number n so let us just analyze it if the number is 12 uh, the fact the factors are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 and uh, if the given number is say 16 the factor will be 1 2 4 8 and 16 so here you can see if you are going to find the factors of the given number n in this case it is 12 you have to uh, if, even if you are just going to go 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 even if you are going to go till n by 2 of the given number there is in this case it is 6 it is uh, going to just give up all the numbers the same is in the case of 16th even if you go till n by 2 that is basically 8 you are going to get all the factors here but we have to optimize it more further so let us just see how we can do that here you can see like in the case of 12th the, there is a property of so, uh, factors of the number like if you are just going to multiply this both like 1 and 12 it is going to give you 12 2 and 6 it is also going to give you 12 3 and 4 it is also going to give you 12 this is in the case of non perfect square numbers means the number that ha does not have the perfect square but in the case of perfect square number like 16 which have the perfect square as 4 well the perfect square of 12 will be something around 3 point something but uh, as it comes in decimal uh, it is not a perfect square but as in the case of 16 the square will be square root of 16 will be 4 so this is a perfect square number in this case you just basically have one middle number two numbers here two numbers here so in this type of cases we are just basically going to go till the square root of the given number square root of 16 will be just 4 and once we go to the square root of number we have just discovered all this number so with the help of all these numbers we can easily find these numbers so for in this case if you are going to uh, go for 12 you, you will easily find 1 2 and 3 so once you have 1 to 3 we can just simply divide that number uh, the given number n is if equal to like if you are going to divide 12 by 1 it is going to give us 12 and if you are going to divide 12 by the second number that is 2 we are just going to simply get 6 and if you are going to divide the 12 by 3 we are simply going to get 4 here and like this we can simply get all this number 4 6 and 12 that we can see here and in the case of uh, the perfect square number like 16 what we can do for 16 we can just go for the numbers are 1 2 and 4 so what we can do we can just uh, simply use that same above logic like 16 divided by 1 is equal to 16 then 16 divided by 2 it is going to give us 8 and 16 divided by 4 it is going to give us 4 back 
but we are not going to use this number so we are basically going to neglect this number so what is going to be the logic of our code okay the first thing that we are going to do is to find the square root of the given number and we have to uh, here we can also check if the given number is a perfect square or not and uh, once uh, we have found the square root of the given number then we are going to start a loop and go till the square root of the given number and uh, we are just going to simply append all of them inside a list or an array if you are just going to use in different programming language then till here for 12 the square root will be around 3 point something we will have all these number so now if the number is a perfect square we don't need this last bit so for that we can just simply in the case of perfect square we can just uh, go to the loop one less than the length of the list and in the case of non perfect square we can just exactly go to the end of the list and once uh, we are going to the end of the list we are just going to, not going to go from 1 to 3 we are go basically going to go from 3 2 and 1 because we want to keep the order of the number in an ascending order so first will be 1 2 and 3 and when we are going to go back to forward we will just say 4 6 and 12 so this is why we are going to go back and once we are going to uh, go back we can just we will have all the list of all the elements and then we can just simply find the kth largest element in python we have negative indexing so we can use the negative index we can just simply multiply minus 1 into k and we are just going to get the negative index and we can just simply return that particular index and if that index does not exist we can just simply print 1 so let us see this in code so here is the code first we are going to import the math library then we are just going to take that both number input and in the case of uh, like here it is 30 and the k is the number like 9 and then we are going to find the square root of the num given number that we earlier discussed and we are just going to simply add a 1 here then we are going to simply take the list that is basically going to store all the factors of that number and then we are just going to find the factors of the number till the square root so till now if it is in the case of 12 it will have got 1 2 and 3 now we are going to check if the number is a perfect square so how we can check if the number is in perfect square to check if the number is a perfect square we are just simply going to find a square root of that given number like if it is 12 it is going to be 3.4 or something like that and then we are going to floor that square root of that number and once when we are going to use the floor the 3.4 will be converted to 4 and then 4 minus 3 minus 4 won't be equal to 0 so it is not a perfect square and when it is perfect square like in the case of 16 it will be 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 that means it is the perfect square and in the case of perfect square we have to go one less than the given index but in a list as you know or in array the indexing starts from 0 so we are subtracting 2 and if it is, it is a simple case then we are just simply subtracting 1 and as we have discussed we have to go from backward to forward we can just simply use this and this is basically used to find from which index we are going to start we are going to start from the end and we are just basically going till minus one as indexing of the list is stops at zero and here is the steps that we are going to take it is negative we are just going to decrement one by one then here we can just simply divide that number in our list and then we can simply append it and then we will get all those numbers like first it will divide 3 by the 12 then it will just simply append 4 here and it will go on now to find and print the kth largest number we can just simply multiply k with negative 1 so that we can use the negative based indexing in python and we are just going to simply print l of k and if l of k is in not in the list if k in is x if k is exceeding our list limit we can just simply print one so this was basically the logic of our code and program if you like this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video so thanks for watching